Okay, going live. Um, I was not going to come on tonight, but I need to cool down a little bit. Have myself a little gin and tonic. There's the gin. And there's the tonic right up to the brim. Mm. Nice way to cool down now that we've got air conditioning weather again. What I really came on for, the purpose of this uh, video here, let's uh, see if there's anyone joining us. So far, oh, there's Ben Lego. Hi, Ben. Uh, we were just on a live stream moments ago, and uh, I wanted to make sure that nobody was uh, doing this kind of thing uh, so that I could come on while there was um, nobody that I know doing a live. <clears throat> what I came on for was to uh, open up this package here, and it's got a lot of tape on it. Why there's so much tape on it, I don't know. But it's from Toronto. This was sent to me by uh, Don Holland. And it looks to be a bottle of something. Hopefully something that I can't get here, which, is, which would be great. Because if I can get it here, what's the point? I've been getting a lot of uh, interesting things from... Uh, Snearson from Mark Snearson. He's sent me a bunch of things. And he's been in contact with uh, with Don Holland here, and uh, this has got quite a bit of tape tape work on it. So, see if we can just open one end of it and get the bottle out. Okay. Oh, goodness. There's a lot of packaging here. There's some kind of a bag. And what's this? Oh! Ha! This is something I can't get here. Absolutely wonderful. Four rows a single barrel. Nice. Thank you very much. And this is 50% um, alcohol by volume. And it is uh, now I understand why Don Holland was telling me to hold back with these samples here. These are also from Don Holland. But they are a uh, Four Roses 2013 125th anniversary limited edition small batch at bottled at 51.6%. And uh, this is the uh, Four Roses single barrel, which you can't get in British Columbia because it all was bought up by uh, um, the Ontario um, LCBO, the Liquor Board, Liquor Control Board of Ontario. And so I think what Don is suggesting that I do a side-by-side -side taste challenge of this uh, 2013 um, edition, limited edition, with the uh, standard uh, single barrel reserve. There's a little booklet here saying, okay, SD must be for small batch. And see if I can read this. It says, uh, the story behind the bottle you're holding is entirely unique to Four Roses. Only Four Roses uses five yeast strains with two mash bills to create 10 completely different bourbon recipes. For this single barrel product, I always hand select each barrel from the same recipe at the peak of its maturity for its robust and distinctive characteristics. Uh, okay. 
You'll notice rich aromas of fruit and delicate flavors of uh, apricot and pear balanced perfectly with notes of oak, light spice, and caramel. Each barrel yields about 180 bottles, which are marked with the exact warehouse and aging location on the handwritten label. While enjoying the uniqueness of this award-winning single barrel bourbon, we hope you'll take time to notice how smooth and mellow it begins, and then rewards you with a finish that's long, soft, and delicate. Fabulous. Enjoy from Brent Elliott, Master Distiller. Well, Don Holland, Don, if you're watching, thank you very much. I really appreciate this. This is something that I cannot get here, which is fabulous. And it says here, warehouse. It's got the numbers on here. Warehouse number NS, barrel number 38.2I. Cool. Very cool. And what else is going on here? Um, Richard Blankus says, having a Lafroig CS QC cast strength quarter cask mix. Okay. And who is this water beard? Um, I don't even know. It's retracted some messages. And uh, he's not Tim. Mike Langson was the last Tim. Oh, okay. Well, I'm I'm not I'm not into the drama really. All I wanted to do was come on here and um, open this package, and um, say thank you once again to Don Holland who may be here, maybe not. The Spirit Safe, yes, Spirit Safe. It's good to see you. Yeah, I'm just having a little uh, unboxing here. I've done the, the unboxing already. And uh, I received a bottle of Four Roses single barrel from Ontario, which is just great. Um, and what else is going on? Uh, show me what you got. Okay. Don, there's Don. Okay. Hi, Andy and friends. I'm so glad the bottle arrived without leakage. Love your enthusiasm and generous spirit. Oh, lovely. Yes, it is lovely. It's fabulous. Fabulous. Um, I think I had a bottle of this the last time I could get it here, which was like four years ago. Uh, okay, very good. Waterbeard, hi and bye. It was great. Uh, thank you for your apology. I accept it. How's that? Mm. Gin and tonic, what a nice way to cool down. Uh, late, late night, yes, DH. Uh, a little late. I was going to be much earlier, like about an hour and a half earlier, but I got distracted by uh, Ben Lego having his uh, live stream going. And Eric Waite was on there too, so I uh, decided to uh, see what they were doing. And Spirit Safe says, sent you a message redoing a live show. Oh, did you? When was that? Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. Sometimes I'm I'm not on top of everything that's going on. Um, yeah, it was a good show, Ben. Tonight, really, what I want to do is make a few uh, videos. Uh, because I, I got some whiskey that I want to um, talk about. Uh, yeah, Eric. Eric's a good sport. Uh, it was good having him on, too. And you can see how enthusiastic he is about going to uh, Scotland. And I was saying that I wish I could join him, but um, I might try and go next year. See if I can save any money. 
<laughs> the way I go through whiskey, I don't think that's going to happen very easily. What's everyone drinking? Oh, me, I have uh, Ungava Gin. And uh, with the Ungava Gin, I have the Western Family Tonic Water. <laughs> I know it's real cheap out, but the stuff was on sale for like half price, so I, I bought it. <laughs> And uh hope he makes a stream in Scotland, yeah. And DH is having beer, KBS. What is I don't know what KBS is. KBS. Uh oh, Spirit Safe says nice. Malted in Montreal reviewed that. Yes, that's why I was curious about getting it. I saw his review uh what a year and a half ago almost. <coughs> and I thought, yeah, I would do the same. So I do a review of the reviews coming up tomorrow, even though it's been like a week since I recorded it. And uh, I'm not an expert on gin by any stretch of the imagination. So I basically said, it smells like gin, it tastes like gin, it's good. And the one special thing about this on Gavin Gin is that the botanicals that are used in the production of it are gathered by, um, you know, uh, First Nations people up in the north of Quebec. Or so that's the, that's the story. Uh, Kentucky breakfast stout. See, I would have never guessed that. A double chocolate coffee stout aged nine months in bourbon barrels stored in a cave. Cool. And there's Don saying, Andy, I can't stress it enough. Give the samples at least one hour in the glass before tasting. Will do. Will do. Have you tried the gin from Victor, which is blue but turns pink when tonic is added? Uh, you mean the gin from the Victoria gin? And uh, uh, Richard sings to the spirit safe Lafroy quarter cask and cast strength nightcap. And Don Holland says hi, Ben. Evening, ah, oh, Santa Cruz. And Good. Uh, yes, autocorrect. Yeah, Victoria Gin, I didn't know it changed color. I just know that the Victoria Gin was quite clear, and uh, it's good, and, and it, it's expensive, though. I even tried the Victoria Oaken Gin, but I didn't know that it changed color when you added tonic to it. Um, but I, I, I think my, uh, my videos on, on the two Victoria gins are still up, I believe. It was blue, not clear. Really? Okay. <laughs> yes, it is a good gin. It's just expensive. Yes. Yes. Usually I stick to Bombay, Bombay Sapphire or Tanqueray, and I don't really taste much of a difference. But this, this Angava is very smooth. So I thought I'd try it once, so I'm trying it now. I'll probably go back to Bombay for the rest of the summer. Uh, what is expensive in terms of gin? Well, you know, when you can buy a bottle of Bombay uh, for uh, a 1.14 liter bottle of Bombay for like 30 bucks, and it cost you 55 for a 750 mil of Victoria gin. Uh, oh yeah, Tanqueray is a, is a better value uh, than, than Bombay or than, than um, Victoria, because Victoria is expensive. And Don Holland is hoping the weekend's going well. It is from here. And Richard's asking, can you drink gin neat? I tried it actually. Uh, the video will go up tomorrow. Well, yeah, I can drink gin neat, but I I don't recommend it. I don't like it straight up. But with tonic, it's palatable. It's completely the opposite of whiskey. Okay. Not a gin drinker. <laughs> there you go. I'm only a gin drinker with tonic and to cool down. 
Tang and Tonic? <laughs> never, never heard of that. Uh, and and Ben will try and get Daniel on. Okay, we're talking about uh, Whiskey Throttle. Just uploaded Deanston 12 review. Okay, enjoyed it very much. Great budget pick if you can find Yes, I have not had a Deanston I didn't like. I've had the Deanston 12. Very nice whiskey. And I had the... Deanston Virgin Oak, lovely. I have another bottle of it. Haven't opened it yet. And uh, then I even have an 18 Deanston, which I haven't opened yet either. So I'm going to get to that eventually. Um, Whiskey Thief saying, what's up? Well, I just did an unboxing of this uh, Four Roses that was sent to me by Don Holland. And I'm drinking some gin and tonic right now. And uh, Spirit Safe says what? 10 px and 18. Oh, okay. So they have a Pedro Jimenez 10. Can't afford the 18. Oh, yeah. Well, the 18 isn't cheap, but when I saw that on the shelf, I had to grab it. I just had to. I I I try to keep my overhead kind of low. Although this week I didn't, I didn't buy much. Actually, I bought four bottles of whiskey this week, but uh, not expensive ones. How many drams this time? Is virgin oak like oak cross? Hmm. No, because uh, oak cross is. Uh, Good morning from Belgium. Oh, hi, Carl. <laughs> and um, Whiskey Thief loves the Deanston 10px, also the 20 year Oloroso. 20 year Oloroso. I've never seen that. I only buy things that I can see. <laughs> um, oak Cross is uh, there's a French oak. If I'm not mistaken. I'll have to get the bottle. Yeah, Oak Cross. Oak Cross has, that's a compass box, by the way. Oak Cross has uh, American and French oak. So you've got ex-bourbon and French oak. And virgin oak is, is actually um, the same as what you would use to age a bourbon or an American rye. It's a virgin oak. There, it's it's not had anything in it before. Whereas the oak cross has had American. Okay, so American oak would be an ex bourbon barrel, perhaps, and French oak would be, you know, a Limousin cask which uh, has had wine in it, perhaps. It's a different taste altogether. Uh, okay, where was I? The chat is getting intense now. I'm going to have to follow what's going on here. Okay. Don is saying, Rob, my local LCBO had a lot of discontinued product. Boy, did I go wild. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I know what that's like. Only things I can see that's a good way to buy whiskey. <laughs> yep. Spirit Safe says to Don Holland, I sent a colleague to get a Deanston PX10 for me, but he failed. Yeah, I failed too. I wanted to get a 20-year, 20 21-year-old uh, old Paltney last week, but somebody had beat me to it. There was one bottle left in the store, and somebody beat me to it. <clears throat> so I bought, ended up buying a 17 somewhere else. And uh, friends, once a hyper fool, always a hyper fool. What? Okay. Virgin oak is just oak. Yes. It's not had anything in it before. It's a fresh oak oak barrel. Uh, hasn't had anything in it before. Exactly. Yeah. Oak Cross is just like Glenfiddich 14 bourbon reserve. Hmm. Okay. Jay Fretless is here. It's Sunday evening with Craig already. No, we're a day early. 
Ten four on the Virgin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. No, I'm just uh, just come on for a short time to uh, unbox this, which I have unboxed, uh, which was sent to me by Don Holland. Um, Ben says, started moving stuff and now have a lot of shit to put away. Hyperfool refers to my willingness to attempt renovations to my room without planning. Oh, okay. Martin Calmer is here too. Is Glenfiddich 46 ABV and non-chill filtered? Which Glenfiddich? No, most Glenfiddich is um, is around forty. Okay, the slow computer. And Santa Cruz is asking Jay Fretless what's up, and Don is saying, Rob, in my experience, it was not a failure. I was not impressed. Returned an open bottle and an unopened. Okay, the fourteen. Okay, we got people talking across each other. And so there you go. Oh, the Glenfiddich 14. Yeah, I had a bottle of that. Uh, I finished it some time ago. 40%, if I recall. Yeah, it's like another Glenfiddich. They're, they're all... The only Glenfiddich that was more than 40% that I have had that I can recall is one that's called the distillery. Um, it was a 15-year-old Glenfiddich distillery edition, and it was bottled at 51%, and it was fabulous, better than any other Glenfiddich I've ever had. Uh, and Martin has had one over a year ago. And Ben hit my head on a metal beam going down the steps. Very precise walk down to nick that beam. You touch the right step with the right speed, you will hit. Yeah, watch where you're going there, Ben. Martin says, it was just a plain Glen 40. Yeah. Yeah. Head still hurts. Well, yeah, you got to watch where you're going. Uh, I'm not going to stay on very long here. How long have we been going? 23 minutes? That was enough to do an unboxing. I kind of like the way this doesn't go up the neck. It's filled right to the top of the flat part, and that's it. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Whiskey Thief says, what happens when you get a miracle out of a virgin cask. Hmm. Well, don't know. It's late here in New York, so night all. Yeah, good night, Martin. I'm, I'm going to say good night, too, because I want to make some videos. Uh, <coughs> Spirit Safe says, uh, pick my next dram for me. Kill Karen 12, Glenn Berge 10. Or Glenn Grant, 12. Wow. You're asking me to pick? I've never had Kilcarran, Glenn Berge. I've had a Glenn Grant, but the one I've had was the, uh, uh, I think it was the Majors Reserve. So I wouldn't know. Uh, Glenn Berge. Go for the Glenn Berge. What the hell? Glenn Fittick, 14, is... 43 ABV, uh, stateside, not in Canada. In Canada, we, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure, wait, let me check. Where's my bottle of, where's my uh, Glenfiddich? 14, Rich Oak. It's right there, 14 rich oak, 40%. The one in Canada is 40%. 
but I wouldn't be surprised if the one in, in the United States is 43. Okay. Ben says, I'm tall enough now, not used to that beam being so so low. Rarely happened, so I wasn't thinking. Okay. Immaculate conception. <laughs> Plus was in a hurry. Okay. Don Holland saying, Andy, the Four Roses samples are a blend of 18 and two 13-year-old bourbons. Okay. Cool. I look forward to trying those. A whiskey of biblical proportions. Now we we got crosstalk happening here. We're talking about virgins and and uh, immaculate conception and biblical whiskey and spirit safe says Glenn Berge's taste of rubber band. Okay, zero one three five five in my part of flavor flyover country, according to smoke, will make a bit on it. Okay. Whiskey of the Year 2013. Yeah. Okay. I got you, Don. I understand. And Whiskey Thief is asking to the spirit safe if he prefers Kilcarran over Glen Scotia. Good question. I don't know because I've never had either of them. One, three, five, five refers to the oil change on the mower. Okay. Excuse me. Spirit Safe says Whiskey Thief. Not sure. Kilcarran is more accessible. <coughs> Here in Victoria, it's hard to find. I think only one store has it, and that would be the Strathcona Hotel. Whiskey Thief hasn't tried a Kilcarran yet, but likes Campbelltown. Okay, Spirit Safe. If you like Campbelltown, you should really go for it. Okay. If you can get a bottle, then it's a screaming buy. I look forward to, I, I think I, I'm due to head down to the, uh, to the Strath one of these days and pick up a few whiskeys from uh, Campbelltown, because that's the only place around here that I know that sells Campbelltown whiskeys. Uh, also, Eric helped me plan my parody on him. Should be out by the end of May. <laughs> night, everyone. Okay, good night, Santa Cruzan. Uh, until next time. I don't think I'm going to last much longer. Actually, I'm starting to feel this uh, this gin. This gin is uh, ooh, 40 what? What is it, 43.1? 43.1% alcohol by volume, and I'm having my second one, and I'm starting to feel it just a little bit now. Okay. Spirit Safe says is where I mail ordered mine from. Oh, from the Strath? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, ben, ben Lego says, got Eric laughing hard when I said I couldn't find a bald wig. We'll wear a cap. Okay. Richard says, what's for dinner? Oh, dinner was some time ago. I had pizza. <laughs> I had pizza at like 4 o'clock. And Whiskey Thief is out. Cheers, all. Cheers, Whiskey Thief. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, to your good health. Um, well, no, it's just that pizza was convenient. I mean, I could have had something else. I could have had fish and vegetables. I could have had um, I could have had a charcuterie plate, but pizza was easy. And the thing about the pizza is, it's a big enough pizza that it, I just have to microwave it tomorrow, and it'll be dinner tomorrow too. So it was big enough pizza. 
But when I was in the grocery store buying groceries, I could feel that my blood sugar was kind of high from the pizza. Because it's a thick traditional crust. And the thick traditional crust has a lot of uh, carbohydrates in it. And uh, that didn't do me very good. Uh, seems every time you do live, you have a pizza. Yeah, it's, it's easy and convenient. Should do frozen pizza reviews. Yeah, right, Don. Unfortunately, most of them fall under 70%. So, you know, if I was trying to do, like, uh, if I was to use, <coughs> take, a, take a page out of Ralphie's book, um, you know, none of them are really up to, up to, uh, up to snuff. I don't know why I keep buying the stupid things. Maybe because if I had delivery pizza, it would cost a lot more. Uh, pizza is a complete meal. Yes, it is. And uh, Don Holland had said something somewhere where, um, yeah, <laughs> there you are. That is where to order Campbellton whiskey from. Spirit Safe says Alberta. Oh, Alberta. Okay, okay. So not the Strath. Next planned videos are Death Valley trip. Yes, by all means, do it. Death Valley is one of my favorite places on earth. There, Ben. I um, I've been there about eight times. Uh, what parts of Death Valley are you looking f to 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 visit? I recommend uh, Dante's View and. Um, Scotty's Castle, and if you can make it to the racetrack, that would be fantastic. Got a Springbank 12 cast strength for 88 bucks plus postage. Nice. Great buy. Dago, Cleo. Ha <laughs> ha, Bernie, there you are, sitting in my hotel room in Cork. Gin is good here as well as the beer and whiskey. Slancha. <coughs> Slancha va, uh, Bernie. This is amazing to have you with us. Uh, I was watching your videos about, uh, you know, flying, uh, flying to Cork from Switzerland and, and, uh, I saw your, your video where you were in uh, the Burger King and there was one in uh, the South of Cork. I saw that one too. And it, it's cool that you're with us. You must be in the morning. So I'm amazed, I'm guessing it's about seven, eight, almost eight o'clock in the morning. We're in uh, in Cork right now, or is it earlier or later? Ah, <sighs> wow. Goodbye, at a wow. And Ben Lego says he's never seen someone in the chat before. Oh yeah, yeah. Ben, uh, Bernie's been doing videos for I've I've known the guy for at least a good long time. Not quite eight. Okay, so almost eight. So it's almost midnight here. So it's almost eight there. There you go. Most of the UK is eight hours ahead of us, so that's why I figured it was eight o'clock. Because we're, what, Greenwich Mean Time minus eight or something like that? Uh, yeah. You <laughs> saw my video meeting us back in 2012. Has it been that long since that time at Chinois and that time we went to the Brasserie La Residence in Pierrefonds? <laughs> <laughs> 2012? Really? Shit. I think you're right. I think the last time I was back there was around, yeah, 2012. That would make sense. That would make sense. So uh, how's Cork uh, treating you there, Bernie? Uh, got some good live music and... Uh, could be, yeah, it could be. <laughs> Richard Blankus uh, found a dusty Springbank 10, 50% ABV. 
yet to open. Fabulous. Fabulous. That would be good. Fifty percent ABV is kind of a strange one for uh, for uh, for a Scotch, although not unheard of. You know, you'd expect Springbank to be what at forty six point eight. Do I have a Springbank going right now? I don't know. Let me see. Mm. Oh my goodness. I do not have a spring back going at the moment. Okay. Meeting with Feckwig published on September 13, 2012. Yeah. Huh. Well, there's Ben talking to uh, Bernie. <laughs> and we got 15 people watching at this hour. Wow. So we're getting the uh, European crowd uh, coming in uh, in the early morning. And we've got the North American late at night. Yeah, mostly vlogs, exactly. And some they're great, great bugs. I, I still keep watching. Good stuff, Bernie. Keep it up. <laughs> no, Ben, uh, Bernie's still around. He's been around for a long time. He's still there. A lot of insightful vlogs, you know, make me think sometimes. And uh, we've got kind of a common, a commonality with our backgrounds because we're both from the province of Quebec um, growing up. Oh, my goodness. What should I buy here, Andy? Oh. In Cork, this is better than Sunday night for a stream. Um, yeah, for a lot of people because they don't have to go to work on on uh, Sunday. Um, usually at this time, I'm making a video, making videos of tasting whiskey, but it might not happen. I might make those videos tomorrow. <laughs> Just because we're going live right now. And what should you buy in cork? In terms of whiskey? In terms of beer? In terms of... Uh, I would get one of those flat hats, but you have one already. Quig ever been to Craig, Saskatchewan? No, not that I'm aware of. Where is that? I have been to Saskatchewan, yes. But I don't know where Craig is. Oh, whiskey. What whiskey to buy? <laughs> um, what whiskey to buy? In Cork? Well, that, that would depend on if you've had it before, if you liked it, if it's to try something new. I just go into stores and, and look at stuff that I haven't had before and get kind of envious because I'd want to try them. And if it's something that I've tried before, I'll just go in this, I'll just get it, if, especially if I liked it. If I didn't like it, I won't get it again. Where is Cork? Cork is in uh, Ireland, actually, near Saskatoon. Okay, I didn't spend a lot of time in uh, Saskatoon. 
Uh, I've never been to Saskatoon. I've been to Moose Jaw. I've been to um, Regina. I've been through, I've been to Moose Jaw, yes, to visit um, Dave Nicholson. And I've been past uh, Regina. I've driven right past Regina, but I've never been to Saskatoon. So uh, no, I have not been there. And what whiskey to buy? Oh, 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 oh. Well, you know all, already about uh, um, Shadow Leoville Barton uh, Green Spot. Um, and you know about, uh, you know probably more about Irish whiskey than I do. Huh. And Spirit says the wife is from Cask, from Saskatoon. Yes, of Saskatchewan. Yes, of course. Uh, Cork has a Cork Irish 10 year and bourbon barrel. Oh, Don Holland is the man to ask. Yes. Um, auto correct. Yeah. What other whiskey to get in Cork? Well, I think Don Holland is the man to talk to. He's the expert. Uh, Cork Irish 10 year and bourbon barrel. Okay. Red Breast 12. Yes, that's a good one too. Uh, Whiskey Sneerson. Mine too, safe. Uh oh, there you go. I think we've got uh, Sneerson is back. <laughs> 41 minutes. Okay, Spirit Safe said, I like to lock. Her in a cask, cranky. <laughs> Who is Whiskey Sneerson? That's a good question. Red Breast is nice. Yeah, Red Breast, I've only had one Red Breast, and that was the Red Breast 12. <clears throat> and I was completely blown away by that one. Yeah, Red Breast is a good choice. If Whiskey Sneerson is Sneerson, that, that, that's cool. It's good to have you back. I think we're done with, uh, with the uh, guy who was impersonating people. Oh, Redbreast 15. You know, I looked at that. I looked at Redbreast 15, and for some reason in my head, I couldn't really... Um, I couldn't really justify the price, but I, I didn't flinch at getting the 12 cast strength, which I will be trying uh, in upcoming weeks sometime. And <laughs> Snearson could not resist. Don is a very generous man. No kidding. Thank you once again, Don. This is great. There's Carl Van Wallingham. Redbreast is releasing a dream cask on May 19th, 32-year-old whiskey. One cask? Oh, my goodness. And Richard Blanca says, Redbreast cask strength gold spot. <clears throat> gold spot. Silo. And Dago Cleo has a 15, and it's nice. Yeah, one of these days, I, I might just pull the trigger on that one. But as it is with whiskey, there's always so many to choose from. Where do you go? Like tonight, I went and bought uh, at, at, at a government store. I got a Bullmore Boom, 15. I got a... I actually went for the... Uh, Founders Reserve, Glen Limit, just for shits and giggles. And I got a 17 year old, um, what was that 17 year old? Uh, it's a blend. It's, uh, don't you hate that when it doesn't quite click? 
Valentine's, 17 year old. I had to try it. And then, of course, I got another um, 40 Creek. Uh, and that 40 Creek was the uh, copper pot, just because I like 40 Creek copper pot a lot. Uh, Richard Blank has retracted two messages. And Ben says, Sneerson, the guy impersonating you is gone. Don't worry. Okay. Carl, one cask. My goodness. Mark is generous in spirit. So happy to see you, my good friend. Okay. That is good. There's Hoagie Bear at Food Quick. Greetings from Berlin with a beautiful sunny day in the making. You lucky guy. We had a sunny day too. I think we might have a sunny day tomorrow. And, uh, Hey, Don, keep it real. Yeah, yeah. Sneerson and Don, you guys, you guys are the top. Um, thank you for being there for me, and, and, and thanks for, for your generosity, both of you. You've both been wonderful. Um, yeah, really. Eh? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, this is great. Everything's working out. This is a great little stream. I'm glad you all could join me. Oh man, I feel this gin. It's a different, different kind of, drunk from whiskey. Maybe because it's faster. Because, you know, you drink like a couple drams worth of gin with uh, tonic. And it, um, it hits you harder, I think. Because you drink more of it in a shorter time. Hmm. Well, Don, you know, uh, thank you. Uh, You're bringing tears to my eyes, and you all love me so very much. It's fantastic. Which gin are you having, Quig? Uh, here you go, Hoagie. This is the Angava gin from uh, the province of Quebec, where the botanicals are handpicked by uh, First Nations people up in the north. And uh, I don't know if you can get that uh, on your side of the pond. But it's, uh, it's quite nice. It's very smooth for a gin. It's a little bit pricey, but um, and Sneerson's been busy. Quebec gin, yeah, <laughs> exactly. I had to try it because, you know, Swami tried it like a year and a bit ago, and I thought, okay, I'll do it too. Yeah, and Ben echoes what I'm saying. Glad you're back. It's good to have you back. It's fantastic, Sneerson. That's Sneerson and Don Holland, and we're all back. We 13 people watching. <coughs> Hoagie saying, just checked. Angava available over here around 25 euro. That's not too bad. What did I pay? I forget. Uh, my review goes up tomorrow uh, or on Monday, and I have the price tag in the review, and I, I'd say how much it is and all that. I forget. It was not too expensive. It's all right. Uh, what's Don drinking? Wheat whiskey? <laughs> Maybe I'll check it out someday. Well, yeah, you, you got lots of time there, Hoagie. You know, you check it out when you get a chance, and uh, it's just the way it is. <coughs> Did you have the Monkey 47 from Germany yet? Wow. I Monkey 47, is that um, a whiskey or a gin? <laughs> I don't even know. I've never heard of it, and it's hard to get stuff from Germany here, or I just don't see much. 
<coughs> ben says, this is a classic quick stream. Great work. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Uh, one of my favorite gins must be the Uncle Val's Botanical from the U.S. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Bernie, uh, goodbye. Going hiking and geocaching. Take care. See you soon. Yes. Uh, Slunch him up. All gin talk. Okay. <laughs> You have me at a disadvantage, Hoagie, because I don't know anything about gin. I I would typically drink um, um, gin and tonic, usually with uh, uh, Bombay Sapphire or at times Tanqueray. And I'm just having the Angava gin uh, because uh, Swami Swami reviewed it like a year and a half ago and. All that time for about a year and a half, I was thinking, I gotta try it. I gotta try it. I gotta try it. And this time I broke down and got it. Okay. Stranahan's Colorado. I had one. I had one of Stranahan's. Um, it was a single malt, if I recall. And I liked it. I still have the little tin cup that was on top of the bottle over there. Uh, hmm. <laughs> yeah. When I say busy, I mean busy smoking cigars and drinking cast strength whiskey. <clears throat> there are worse ways to go there, Mark. A lot of, a lot of worse ways to go. <laughs> yeah, I've been drinking a fair amount of whiskey too after work. Uh, not so much into cigars, but the whiskey, I can understand. Yeah, good one, Dad. Yeah. So what's the other expression of uh, Stranahan's besides single malt or, yeah. Do they have uh, like a rye or something like that going on? I don't even know. Uh, yeah, keeping it real, that's, that's what I like to see too. That's great. Hmm. Well, gentlemen, I wasn't going to go on for very long. We've gone on for 52 whole minutes. <coughs> Bottom shelf Canadian and Starbucks coffee energy drinks. Yeah. <coughs> Bottom shelf Canadian. I understand that very well. <laughs> Many craft gins out there these days, but from my experience, not all are suitable for gin and tonic, but must be sipped neat because of their extravagant flavor profile. Okay. Well, I'm not going to get into high-end gin right now. I'm having enough fun with whiskey. <laughs> um, I'm having uh, difficulties getting into rum as well, and um, and uh, things like tequila. And uh, Ben Lego has to get going. Talk later. Thanks for the show. You're welcome, Ben. Anytime. The other Stranahan's has a black label. Okay, I've never seen that or really looked for it. The only Stranahan's I had was a single malt, and that was a couple of years back. Hoagie says, take care and have a good one, Ben. Okay, and Spirit say, say, uh, says, needing to call the herd somewhat. I understand completely. I know what you're saying. Yeah, you're welcome there, Ben. You're welcome. You know, we still got 11 people watching, which is pretty good. Um, Spirit Safe bought too many. Wife is starting to get cranky. <laughs> <coughs> oh, man. That's too bad. You got to do something to make her happy. I don't know. It's Mother's Day. Is it Mother's Day? Do something special for the wife. Uh, 
make her feel good again. I don't know. It's been a while since I've had uh, a significant other. And it's really funny, you know, last night I picked up this woman and she was being put into my cab by people at this house. And uh, I'm driving her home and she's asking me, she, she says to me, you look like a single guy. And I said, you're correct, I'm single. And she's saying, would you want to go out on a date? And I'm saying, do I want to go out on a date? I, I say the single thing works for me, you know, I kind of like it. I gave her my number. And uh, if she calls my number, she'll get the, the, mes the message on my answering, <coughs> answering mailbox. It will say something like, uh, please don't leave a message. If I recognize your phone number, I'll get back to you. <laughs> so <coughs> this, in the morning, there were three missed calls. I wonder if one of those missed calls was her. Anyway, whatever. Unclog the sink. Well, that's one good thing to do. That's that's making yourself useful. <laughs> Bought too many apartment floors starting to get cranky. <laughs> that sounds like my place, Hoagie. <laughs> <clears throat> and Don Holland is so very happy that I came on tonight. Well, it was my pleasure. I'm glad I did. And spirit safe. I'm waiting to see Quig's e-fit on Canada's most wanted. Hmm. Not sure what that means. This woman disappeared. All that was left of her was her shoes. <laughs> Who's she, Imelda Marcos? <laughs> What's really funny is this particular woman who wanted to go on a date with me lives only about a block from here, just, just down the road. That's funny. That's really funny. Uh, yes, the woman who got in my cab. Yeah, I figured, I, I slowly figured that out. <laughs> Oh, I need a glass of water. <clears throat> Sorry. It's the bubbles from the tonic water. They just come up. Got to get some water. If you guys are still here when I get back, that means you're still here when I get back. All right. Get some water. Okay. Let's see what I missed. Okay. Right, bedtime. 
Richard Blankus retracted a message. Question mark. Saw your message. I think I see it. Time for water and a quick break. Okay. Ben says, still here in between cleaning and listening. Hoagie says, say quig from the Scotch whiskeys you've tried so far in 2018, which did you like the best? Oh, 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 oh. Of the ones that I tried in 2018, hmm. I was quite impressed with Let me see. This one. Glendronic peated. This one impressed me a lot. It's very nice. Um, what else? Uh, oh. I think I tried these this year. The Lefroig 15 and 18, as you can see, they are disappearing fast. These impressed me. Yeah. Of the ones I tried this year. What else did I try this year that impressed me a lot? Well, hmm. Hmm. Ah, this one was good too. This was good. The Cavalan um, Concert Master. That was good too. I like that one. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Stag Jr. Stag Jr. Really, that hits the spot. That That's fantastic. And so is the Lot 40 cast strength. This is really good, too. Fabulous stuff. Really wonderful. Yeah. Uh, Can I narrow it down to one? I would say it's somewhere in there, somewhere in those. Uh, those would be right up there in the top. Oh, well, yeah, this one too. <clears throat> this one surprised me. The E.H. Taylor, I like that one a lot too. Very good. Fantastic burgers. Yeah. Oh, I can't narrow it down to this. Nika coffee malt, amazing. I like it. As you can see, I have trouble making up my mind. I have trouble saying which one is the best. I have trouble. Um, you remind me when Whiskey Throttle drank vodka one night streaming. I missed that. 
Hoagie says, Whiskey Snearson, Aaron, 1996, 21, <coughs> single cask for whiskey-based North Star 12 Island, South Coast Lafroy, Ben Nevis, 12 heavily peated cat sherry cask. Nice. Okay. That's what Snearson says. And Don Holland says, Snearson, I am so glad they didn't turn you into glue. Four horses makes it perfect. <laughs> Four horses? <laughs> Four roses, I think, yeah. Oakland Multimedia TV. Checking in on my alts. I've never seen Oakland Med Multimedia TV. Ah, uh, Stag Jr., nice, yes. Hoagie says, I wish they had had the lot 40 cast strength over here, but was North America, it was Canada exclusive from what I understand. No need to narrow it down to one. Yes, I, I'm glad you can appreciate um, my sentiments on that. <clears throat> you mean Canada exclusive. Yes, Richard, that's what it is. Oakland Multimedia, just this one. Deuce and my Republic Commando rep uploaded. Oh, this is totally new to me. Whiskey Sneerson says, or soap, Don. Food Quig, how about your favorite Canadian lately? Yeah. Well, I'm about to review one of yours this weekend. That would be this guy here. <clears throat> That's the Outlaw Outlaw Trail Spirits, old foggy bottom. Uh, Canadian? Favorite Canadian lately? Okay, let's go there. Canadian. Ah. Uh, Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> oh, for Canadian. I have trouble narrowing that down, too. There was this one here. This was the BC Liquor Store exclusive. Um, second edition, which was great. It was J.P. Weiser's Union 52, of which I have very little left. And there's Canadian Rockies 21, which is really good. <laughs> Hmm. Canadian, you say. Oh, uh, wait. Perhaps you might recognize this one. For 100% wheat, it's really good. Uh, yeah. I have more Canadian that's uh, coming along soon that I'm going to try in the near future. Yeah. This one, surprisingly, is getting better as it's been opening up. This is the lot 0001, Low and McKinnon, Barley and Rye, Lightly Peated. This is good stuff, too. And there's more Canadian coming. There's more uh, that I haven't opened yet and I haven't tried. Uh, <clears throat> okay, where are we at now? Channel I set up to do tech videos. Not sure what to do with it since no one went to it. Oh, that okay. Oakland. 
All right. Only one video about Mac OS X. Okay. Hoagie Bear says, Food Quick. Yes, wasn't sure about the Lot 40 cat cast strength exclusivity, but I suppose some U.S. citizens hopped over the border and got themselves a bottle or two. By the way, is that legal in Canada? Uh, yeah, it's legal to come to Canada and buy whiskey and bring it over this, the border to the States. And it's legal to buy whiskey in the States and bring it back into Canada. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah, U.S. citizens can hop over the border, but of course then they have to deal with U.S. customs. And if U.S. customs is anything like Canada customs, they're allowed to bring one liter of whiskey over the border if they've been out of the country for 48 hours or more. So it's not a, not, not a problem. Uh, and of course, um, Americans uh, might have friends in Canada who bring whiskey to them when they come to visit. Not a problem. Hoagie, do not fret. They will be coming out with another 11-year cask strength. Okay, very good. <laughs> uh, each power of the four credits make cinnamon in Quebec. Thursday battle according to YouTube subtitles my intro. What? I don't understand, Ben. Lot 40, yeah. Okay, I've not bought one Canadian whiskey yet. Only the mass market stuff over here as far as I can tell. Well, the mass market stuff... Of something like this, Lauren McKinnon, this is a local product. I don't know how far the distribution goes. Or uh, this one here, too. Shelter Point. This is a local single malt from right here on Vancouver Island. In fact, I think maybe I'll pour me a dram of that. Okay, this one is special because... The cap is glass, okay? If you can see that, here's how you open it. There. I think I'll pour me one of these. Oh yeah. Whew, nice. This is a local product. This is Vancouver Island. This is very nice. Okay. This is this is small batch. This is local farm. This is uh, <laughs> this is not the mass market stuff. But there are some gems in the mass market stuff too. There's some good ones. Um, Richard says so. Nobody. Russell's Reserve Rye. Hmm. I've had Russell's, but not the rye. Hoagie says, really interesting Canadian stuff you've got. Nice to see the improvement over the last 10 years or so. Yeah, you know what? Watch. 10 years from now, it's going to be amazing what stuff is going to be coming out of here. Because we've got a distillery just, a, just nearby that's producing already some juice. This is locally produced. This is the closest distillery to where I live. This is from uh, Mac. This is from uh, Macalonis. It's a single malt spirit. It's not a whiskey yet, but this is the Macnabrach, and it won't be long before they'll have something old enough to call whiskey. I have not opened this yet, but I look forward to do so in the upcoming months. It's going to be good, and there are. Distilleries opening up all over the place around here. It is amazing what's happening in, in Canada with respect to whiskey right now. I'm glad to be, you know, right in the middle of it. Uh, let's see now. Oh, yeah. Sneerson says, do you know where BC Liquor Stores sourced that exclusive from? Yeah, I can tell you right now. 
Highwood. It's Highwood. Uh, when I was at the last uh, whiskey festival <clears throat> here in Victoria, I came up to the Highwood table where they have, uh, you know, uh, Centennial and they have um, the uh, the 90 and they have uh, things like that. And I, I mentioned the uh, BC exclusive, uh, you know, second edition. And he said, yeah, that was one of ours. <laughs> So, yeah, and thank you, Don Holland and Snearson, for showing up. You guys are great. It says Ben. Yeah, they are They are good good guys, Ben. This is a wonderful stream. Don Holland says, Ben, I watched a video from a few ago. Boy, have you aged a lot. <laughs> I sure have. It's crazy to watch those old vids. <coughs> thank you for watching and subbing. Hoagie oh, says, just found shelter point in one German shop, 60 euros. Too high a price? Um, what did I pay for it? No, that's that's good, actually. Shelter point is good. This That's a local product from right here. What did I pay for shelter point last time? It was, um, no, that's fine. I think it cost more here than 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 that. Snearson says, really enjoyed the Lowen McKinnon sample you sent me last year. Sad that your Union 52 is so low. That was amazing stuff. Yes, it was. I have one dram left. Mm. Oh, this is nice. We're talking 46%. Fruits and honey. Malty. Beautiful stuff. Shelter point is, is all right. Yeah, try it out, Hoagie. You know, 60 euros. That's, yeah, 180 bucks. Yeah, it's worth it. It's what we pay here. And yeah, that Lowen McKinnon, that was the inaugural batch there, uh, Snearson. I have some more, um, like I just showed you, and there's another bottle or two that I haven't opened yet of different expressions from Lowen McKinnon. They are, um, they're great. And Don Holland says Canada is going to be making a big splash. Just wait and see. No kidding. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's coming. It's on the way. It's on the way. And Shelter Point, more like 91 Canadian over here. Okay. That's not so bad. That's a good price. Keep a lookout for Wolfhead in your area. <clears throat> oh, Wolfhead. There's one that I haven't tried yet. It's uh, Stock and Barrel. That's from Ontario. I haven't tried that yet. I would like to. What a peaceful and fun stream. Thank you, Ben. And yeah, we're, we're having a good one. It's uh, no drama, no bullshit. And Don, Don Holland says, you've all made my weekend. Thanks, guys. Well, you made my weekend, too. We're having a good one tonight. I'm appreciating this, that everyone's behaving nicely and everybody's having a good discussion. No chance to get Lowen McKinnon over here, as far as I know. It, it's, yeah, the distribution is kind of limited. That one's uh, from the mainland. That's from Surrey. Uh, but if you can get Shelter Point, yeah, grab one. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And Ben says, you're welcome, friend, at Don Holland. Hope to chat soon. Okay, Hoagie says, it ain't over yet. Have a great Sunday. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, hope you guys keeping it real. Keep it up. Yeah, we're, we're doing all right. We're down to eight watching. We've been going for an hour and more. I don't think I'm going to stay on much longer. Um, Richard Blanca says, where did you learn your patented anaconda? 
right here in this chair or right here in this room, I guess. I just wanted to do the, um, it was easier for me to just grip the glass tightly and just go like this and keep the whiskey in the same place and make the glass go around it rather than try to do this and, you know, maybe slip the glass and drop it and, and spill it. So I, I just, I hold on to the glass tight so I won't spill it and uh, make sure that the glass goes around the whiskey. And that's, that's where it comes from, really. <clears throat> and, uh, eight and great. <laughs> ben Lego may go on after just killing time now. I spill it every time. <laughs> well, let's see. What I'm trying to do is avoid spilling. That's why I'm holding on tight instead of trying to manipulate with the fingers uh you know yeah that could slip my fingers have been known to be buttery at times so mm. oh this shelter point is going down really good mm. very nice toro just emerged from my cave Good to see you, Welsh Toro. It's a pleasure having you with us again. <laughs> I hope I never get the shakes trying to know something. <laughs> anaconda patent pending. Okay. Sneerson says, I can do the double quig anaconda with a little practice. Yeah. Well, I'd have to practice a lot to make it happen at least once. <laughs> Wow. I'm having a good time, guys. I don't know about you, but I'm having a good time so far. I should start putting things away so I don't forget where they go or something. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, we're done with the gin. Oh, yeah. The plastic bottle. And what does that leave us with? Wild four roses. Yeah. Thanks again, Don. I'll put that away. Yeah, shelter point. Oh yeah, shelter point. Yeah. Shelter point. <sighs> Beautiful whiskey. Four rows a single barrel. Correct. That is correct, Welsh. Uh, this was donated to me by Don Holland because we can't get it here. So he sent it to me all the way from Toronto, which is great. I, I appreciate that. Cheers. Mm. Ben says, it's a blast. Forgot how nice these normal streams were. And now that Snearson and Don Holland are here, it's even better. Yeah. Stand up, guys. Tell you. Put together my first living bottle lately. First living bottle. Oh, do you mean um, by living bottle, do you mean uh, infinity bottle? Where, you know, you add different things to it and it keeps going. Don says, thanks, Ben. Yeah. Thanks, Ben. What do you mean by living bottle there, uh, Hoagie? Uh, yes, that's what I mean. Oh, okay, good. Well, what did you put in it so far? I uh, can barely do the Ralphie Rolly Strolly. Well, yeah, you see, that's the problem because he 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 he, he lets go and he, yeah, I'd rather do it this way. I can slow it down and really get it to go. 
that's uh, yeah the Ralphie thing is just just uh, the Ralphie thing is, is is messing around with fingers touching the leg no shaky shaky <laughs> no shaky shaky no never 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 <laughs> Ah, okay. So how are things going? Uh, never, 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 no, no, no. None of this James Bond shake and not stirred crap. Uh-uh. <laughs> wow. This is only 46%, and I'm feeling it. I think I'm feeling it because I had that um, gin and tonic before. And I think gin and tonic tends to get me old Pultney five cast strength. Glenn Talker's 19, Glenn Burgey 18, Aaron 10, Ben Romick 10, Dalwini 15, Lucknagar 12, something special Scotch blend, Inchmurin 12, Island Collection. And having Dago Cleo was fun too. Yes, it was. Okay, wait a second. Oh, okay. That's what you have in there. Old Pultney, Glenn Talkers, Glenn Burgey. Oh, interesting. I've had the Mineral Mc10, the Dalawini 15, the Loch Nagar 12. I've never had Inch Marin. Uh, and okay. Scotch blend. Old Pultney five cast strength. Wow. I've tried Glen Talkers, but I only had a couple samples of it. Interesting. <laughs> Never shaky, shaky, and good vibrations. Yeah. Oh, this is sweet. I don't mean sweet as in sugary sweet, but but just nice. <sighs> nice nose on this stuff. A tiny little bit salty. A lot fruity. Nice whiskey. And Hoagie says, uh, be careful with peated whiskeys. Probably do another bottle that's peated. Otherwise, peat kills the profile of this bottle. Well, let me show you what I got. <laughs> Since we're talking about infinity bottles, I've got a few going. Hold on. Oh, this is bad. I'm I'm bad. I'm very bad. Yeah. I have six. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna start with these two right here. Royal Lachanagar 12 box on the wall. Yes, it stands out. It's right there. <laughs> okay. Infinity bottles. This one is 40 Creek Copper Pot, Crown Royal Northern Harvest Rye, Gibson's um, Sterling, Lagavulin 8, Lechag 10, and Glen Breton 14. So it's a Scotch and Canadian. Um, and I think I added something else to it. Union, no, no union. Anyway, this is all mostly Canadian and a bit of Scotch. The uh, this was inspired by this guy called, um, well, Tim. Tim, who used to be, who is and was Jack Gas Whiskey and Pinto Beans, who went berserks uh, Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve on my channel. I thought he was a friend of mine, but uh, 
This here is the other one, 40 Creek Copper Hut, Crown Around Northern Harvest Rye, Seagram's VO, Lafroy Glor, Trust Whiskey, and Big Pete. And there's some other things in there too, some uh, bottom shelf Canadian stuff. That's two. This one is my Canadian Infinity. Every Canadian whiskey that I've had in the last little while is in here. And every time I open up a new bottle, I'll pour one dram of this and pour from the new bottle into here. This one is Irish. This is all Irish whiskey. Uh, Jameson's, Black Barrel, etc. It's just Irish whiskey, all kinds of Irish whiskey. You name it, it's any Irish whiskey I've had in the last three or four months is in here. This is my Isla. It's almost, it's get, it's going to get full soon. I've got some Kalilas and I've got a couple of Freugs and a few things that have got to go in there still. It's getting up there. This is a bottle of, this was a, par, a bottle of uh, Port, Port Charlotte, second limited edition. I even have a Highland. My Highland is almost full. This is my Highland Infinity. And it's got things like, uh, you know, Fetter Cairn and Ardmore and uh, Glen Glassaw and, uh, you know, Klein Leash and um, what's that other one? Glen Geary and things like that in there. So it's going to be good. I, I, I got a few infinities going, so I got to put those away. <coughs> They're a lot of fun. There's something to try. And if you get any off-putting notes, you can always blend them out. <laughs> yeah. I'm having some fun with that. Uh, where are we now? Okay. <laughs> Unboxing videos always last longer than they should. <laughs> At least this time it is due to good chat. Not a bad thing. Okay. Don Holland says they are both Canadian. <laughs> oh, a lot of things are Canadian. Yeah. Ha, six. Looks like I've barked up the wrong tree. <laughs> uh, I was just playing around with these things. And Welsh says, I remember John Gla Glaser, Compass Box, saying how his team could tell when 1% of Pete made its presence felt. Yes. Uh, Tim was not is. Okay. And Ben Lego would not drink anything from Tim. Well, you know, I'm still here, and I haven't tasted anything uh there haven't been too many off-putting notes from Tim, so I'll, I'll, I'll give him that much. I'll be charitable. Such beautiful bottles for your infinities. Yeah. Uh, one is a Cardew. Um, one is a Glendalock. Another one is a, a Port Charlotte. And uh, three of them are from uh, Canadian uh, Wisers. Okay. They are distinct bottles, yes. <laughs> British Isles seem to make some good stuff. Oh, I'm sure they do. Okay. Mogi, they look like Wisers bottles. Thick square ones. Yeah, the thick square ones are Wisers. And there's a Cardew in there, and there's one from Glendalock and one from uh, Two Hours. Okay, we're going pretty good. Thanks for the info. Oh, you're welcome. Really heavy. <laughs> ah. You into gin. Okay. Good to have your regions kind of separated, at least for some. Yeah. Well, you know, you want an island to be somewhat peated, and you want your highland to be somewhat uh, floral and uh, 
and you want your Canadian to be uh, kind of sweet and caramelly and uh, yeah, things like that. So I guess that's the real head stash, <laughs> I guess. Hoagie says, just a little. Tried some, but there are so many. Yes, there are many. John Holland says, I dropped a bottle in my local LCBO, and people I met said, all is okay. Yeah, they can write it off. The right tree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did I say wrong tree? Did I make an assumption there? I'm sorry, Hoagie. Um, the right tree. I am sorry. I really, I really messed up there. I've had a bit to drink. Okay. <laughs> uh, Hoagie says, okay, right tree. Yeah, okay, very good. Today. Um, mm. Snearson says, Don, how is the Stranahan's coming along? And yeah, Lego says, Whiskey Snearson at work. Okay. Uh, if you drop a bottle in the store, make sure it's a good one, as long as you don't have to pay for it. Yeah. I think most people in the store would be okay about that. Don Holland says he loves them both. They are made from barley rare in the USA. So are we talking about uh, Stranahan's? Yeah, okay. So we're talking about the single malt and the black label? Okay. I'll have to pick up some more American single malts. I'll have to get some... Uh, High West, and uh, what was the other one? Um, the one in Seattle, the one that makes uh, Gariana. Uh, Westland, there's High West and Westland. I always get the two confused because they have West in the name. Uh. Oh, Stranahan's, yeah. And Lego says, out of caramel M&M's. You know what? I just bought some. <laughs> I went to the grocery store and got all kinds of good stuff. And some of it was caramel M&M's. Yes. I bought a bag of them. Uh, yeah. Oh. This shelter point is nice. Very nice. And you know what? It doesn't resemble your typical blended Canadian whiskey at all. It's a single malt, after all. And Canadian whiskey is generally has a base of corn, and then it's blended with a rye and blended with a little bit of malt and maybe some wheat depending on what part of Canada it's from and that's it but this is just malt whiskey made in Canada there's no rye in it there's no corn there's no wheat and uh, that's what I like about Shelter Point yeah Westland uh, yep. When I say good one, make a good crash. Yeah, I, I think I'll crash very well. Ben is right here. Yeah, if that's what you mean, that's what it is. High West is MGP. Okay. Interesting. They were both on sale. I could not help pull the trigger. Hey, why not? Um, I would do the same. There was one on sale last night. Which one? Um, mm, it's not that one. 
Uh, I'll figure it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the uh, the Bomore five uh, fifteen five dollars off. So I thought I'd punt. Uh, I'm gonna try it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. That happens sometimes. You see something on sale that you wanted to try. I think one of the best on sales I got lately was, okay, there's a store right near here called Cascadia. Have to make room for a couple in the flight. And uh, Cascadia was sen selling uh, these guys. you find them. Oh, yeah. Cascadia was selling these for $120 each. Both of them are, are Jameson's specials. This is the Cooper's Crows. And this one here is the Distiller Safe. They were $120 each. And then I went for a little drive. And I ended up in a Squamalt. And there was a store there that belongs to a bar. The bar is called the, uh, the Four Mile House. And in the liquor store that was associated with the Four Mile House, they had these for $55 a piece. And they were like $120 at the other store. So... It was like instant buy, gimme, gimme, gimme. I'll try those eventually too. I also got the third one uh, on sale from another store, the Distiller's Dog, or I think it was called. And that one was also about $50, $60 down from 120 so it's, it's good ah where are we hoagie says bowmore 15 darkest has recently lost the darkest on the label but it's still the same juice inside no the one i got was just the bowmore 15 it's not the darkest there's another golden and elegant yeah I think that's the one I have. And Whiskey Snearson says, good to know. Do you like that one? You know, squirrel. I don't understand, Ben. What do you mean by squirrel? I saw those. They had four choices. That's two for one on those Jamesons, Quig. Good job. Yeah, I think so. I think I did okay. Usually I end up paying full price for everything, but this time it worked out. Hoagie saying, Whiskey Snearson, sometimes, sometimes I don't can't quite make out if it's batch variations, but generally I prefer higher proof stuff, so I don't own a bottle, but it's decent. Wink, wink, autocorrect. <laughs> Usually get $10 of coupon with $50 or more purchase. At Bevmo, okay. I don't know where from Bevmo, but what was I'll, I'll, I'll get that 15 year old. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, here it is. There's the Bullmore 15. Today, as it was then, 43% <coughs> sherry oak, sherry cask finish that develops layers of rich peat smoke. 
There you go. What's the bottle look like in there? Here you go, Bowmore 15. You got the new old darkest. Okay, very good. The new old darkest. Very good. Yeah. Next time I might pick up the 18. Got a package from Gordon Head yet to open from Wing Tings. Gordon Head, that's, that's, that's an area of town around here. The other one is travel retail. Oh, you want to talk about travel retail? Hoagie, look at this. Okay, I'll tell you the story behind it. I went into a store looking for Old Pulteney 17 and or 21 and i found it uh old Pulteney 17 not the 21 but i found it 17 and out of the corner of my eye i saw this travel exclusive It, uh, it was not supposed to be there. Take a look at this. <laughs> this was... This was there. It's a travel exclusive, but it was in a regular store, and there was just one bottle. And so I had to go get it. I had to grab it. Yeah. Travel retail don't mean much anymore. <laughs> Things quit YouTube too great. Slow is easy good. This is Vince. Old Pultney 23. No, not old Pultney 23. Okay. But anyway, Port Charlotte 12. Only bottle I ever saw. Bevmo is Total Wines competition in SoCal. Okay. PC12, interestingly, I've seen it on both travel, retail, and regular stores too. Got myself PC10, but still closed. Ah, good catch. I think so too. <laughs> The, uh, the PC-10, Hoagie, is it th this one, the second limited edition, or is it the first one? This uh, I've had about three bottles of this already, the, uh, the 10 second limited edition. I've had one bottle of the first 10, but I find the second one even better. Oh man, you guys are seeing everything I got. <laughs> F off, Andy. <laughs> what do you mean, Don? <laughs> okay. I've seen it on both travel, retail, regular stores. Good catch. Not Port Charlotte 10, but cast strength Port Charlotte 10. Just as your Oh. More whiskey collection goods. Yeah, more or less, I guess. I don't know what you mean, Don, by F off Andy, but yeah. <laughs> hmm. 
or are you off already, Don? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm at a loss. Oh, Port Charlotte 10 second edition is a great one. I, I think I prefer it to the first one, but I only had one bottle of the first one and that was like a couple of years ago. And uh, the second ed edition is quite, easily available too. I, I can find it very easily. Uh. Okay, what else is going on here? Port Charlotte standard is all we get at the LCBO. So like the Scottish barley. Yeah. Oh, this is just hunting around, you know. I, I can get the 10 second edition at the BC liquor store, I mean, I saw it tonight, and the 12 was just a freak. I went into the a store called the um, Tudor House, and I was looking for some 17-year-old Pulteney because, and 21, because I couldn't get it out at, out in Sydney. And sure enough, it caught the corner of my eye. I saw this Port Charlotte 12. It had to be mine. It just, it, it, it just had to. Um. Uh, yeah, and Ben is saying, surprised you're still on almost three hours. Well, you know what? I I made a decision, I guess, that I can make the videos that I was going to make tonight, tomorrow, or on Sunday. So, you know, Sunday afternoon, I'll start making videos, and I'll shoot those four videos in the afternoon. And, and I won't go on uh, Sunday night. I'll, I'll just be on tonight, and that's it. And that's why I'm still on. And uh, Bevmo by House has PC10 and Laddie 10 second. Should grab them both. Yeah, I would prefer the PC10 over the Laddie. Laddie 10 is okay, but it's, uh, it doesn't float my boat quite as much. Hoagie says, the first one was okay, but not a stunner. Exactly. Second Port Charlotte 10 features some wine cask maturation, which gives it an edge. Yes, yes, my sentiments exactly. The, as I, I had the Port Charlotte, the, the first one, and when I did the Port Charlotte 10, and when I tried the second, it was just so much more. There, there was um, dimensions in there that the first one didn't have. What is the price on those bottles, Andy? Just a bit over 100 Whiskey sneers and says, Quigs laid back, sipping on gin and juice at Shelter Point. Yeah, the Shelter Point's just about empty. I'm going to have to get something else. How much longer? I don't know, Ben. I'm still having a good time. Are you? <laughs> I'm still having a good time. I might get some more water and take a piss and uh, That kind of thing, but I could go on a little bit longer. We still got 10 people watching, which is pretty good considering that, you know, it's 111 here and all over the rest of North America. It's like later, it's like 211 or 311 or 411. And there's still people watching at 411. That's wild. And of course, we've got the European crowd with guys like Hoagie. And uh, what the hell is that? I don't know. Whiskeycom is live. Oh, horse learning is live. Or did I miss that? When is he still live? Uh, let's see. I guess maybe he still is. I don't know. 
Where are we? Okay. Okay. Would ask to come on, but I know my arrival would make it last forever. <laughs> Pretty much, Ben. Uh, no, I'm I'm good going solo. I don't mind fielding these uh, comments as I go. It's easier for me, I think, to to just do it this way. I hope you don't take offense to that. It's just that it's easier to just be in in control of everything. Only seen Nani statement Brooklady around here. Okay. Uh, Live in German or English horse, that is. Well, that's a good question. Let's find out. Let me go on my other. Wait, switch over to Food Quig. Um, switch account. You might be off already. That message could have been pretty old. Let's see now. Uh, whoa. Wait a minute, where is he? I don't see him now. Oh, I know. Hold on. Let me find him again. Um... Come on, new tab. Um, I think I think that was an old video or an old uh, notification. So I guess horse learning is not live now. <laughs> um, I don't know if he's in German or English. Uh, well, let, let me take one more look. Just just one more look. Okay. Okay. File new tab. YouTube. And there's one by Ben. There's Spirit Safe doing Deans and Ten. There's Malted in Montreal doing a Nika live tasting with Julien Forest. Three hours and eight minutes. 107 views five hours ago. Uh, wow. Trenny and C do something here. Glenn Goyne. Kill Karen something. Jason Whiskey Wise, Whiskey Lounge. Um... Wait, live Ardbeg peated 13 hours ago uh, was when Horse Learning did something. So <clears throat> my information is a little bit out of date, shall we say. <laughs> um, oh, we were asking about German or English, right? Um, looks like, uh, in English. Well, I'll go and look at that later, even though it was 13 hours ago. <laughs> uh, it's fine. I find it easier to do guests on my channel rather than be guests for someone else. Okay. No dislikes. Okay. Don Holland says, focus, Andy. You have a room full of guests. Oh, focus. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Richard says, earlier he did an Ardbeg vid with Ben. That's the one. That I, you got it, Richard. I'm, I'm slow. I'm slow. It takes me a while. Uh, Hoagie says that Richard Blanket, sometimes there are ones featuring a distillation date like 2007 Isla Barley, which gives you kind of an H statement. Live vid, yeah. 
Yeah, Richard. You know what? I got to get some more water. Yeah, got some more whiskey. Uh, whoa, what is this? Last Monday, the hippie art bag grooves bus parked in front of a Berlin whiskey shop for a couple of hours, but had to work. 15 euros for a dram of 10 Ugi Kori Anua and Grooves. Well, I've had Ugadal, I've had Kori Brecken, I have not had Anu and, and however you pronounce it, and uh, I have not had Grooves. Eventually, maybe Anua and Grooves will get here. I love Kori Brecken. Ugi, uh, I can leave it, but Ardbeg is like hit or miss. It's either great or it's just off. It's like, give me Corey Vrecken any day. And if you give me Ori Verdes, it's okay, but nothing fantastic, you know? Um, Snearson says, I want to ride on that bus, like right across Europe. Yeah. <laughs> Classic Laddie and PC are NAS. Can still find Isla Barley 2007. Well, the 10 and the 12 and the 11, I've had the 11 too. They're all each statement. I'm going to get some more water. Okay, I got water. Have I missed anything? Uh, the room full of guests. Yes, Don, I do. Did an art big vid with Ben. Okay. Live vid. Last Monday, hippie bus. Okay, ride on that bus. <laughs> Classic Laddie and PCR and ass. Okay, so I didn't miss anything. You guys have been good. I thought you'd be commenting like crazy before I came back. Got nine people watching now. I guess we lost one because I went and took a piss. I'm going to find another whiskey to pour. Well, what should I have? Mm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Wow. This will work. 
got some Buffalo Trace, just a little bit left in this one. Uh -huh. I will pour some Buffalo Trace. One perfect quick size dram, and we'll um, empty the bottle by putting it sideways. <laughs> All right. Welsh Toro saying, uh, I recently had a bottle of Travel Retail Port Charlotte, which was pretty good. A 10 year cast strength that aged in cognac barrels. Tinian City, whoever that is. I've never seen that one. I flap. DSO is here. Okay. Uh, hey, Quig, have you ordered any bottles via Zin? No, I have not. Uh, Hoagie says that Welsh Toro, very good choice. Really extraordinary stuff. Port Charlotte. Okay. Whoops. Tinian City, whoever. How's that Glen Breton? Glen Breton. I haven't had any Glen Breton for a while now. Um, I, don't, I don't like Glen Breton particularly. I think it was Ardbeg 12. That's the one at Hoagie Bear. Okay, in uh, Port Charlotte, CC11. Okay. Enter key fell off. I thought you said you fixed that keyboard there, Ben. <laughs> oh, yeah. Buffalo Trace, very nice. Hoagie Bear at Welsh Toro, I know. Have one too, and considering getting another one really smooth for the age, the cognac cask does work well. Oh, you fixed the other one, but not the wireless. All right. Sort of hauling ass today. I, I understand. I mean, I'm relaxing. City ALT, I don't get this. I'm beginning to understand about half what's going on here. <laughs> oh yeah, I get the last drops out of there. Spank the baby. All right. Buffalo Trace. Hmm. Saw a few of his reviews. He came on and I hopped in. Uh, are you talking about me or somebody else there, Tinian City? If it's me, thanks for dropping in. Time for some water dehydration in the here. Well, no, we try to keep hydrated at all times. You, you're talking about me. Oh, yeah, you're talking about me. Okay, great. Mm. Uh, Diso says, just read all you guys talk about Brook Laddie. Yeah, we were talking about Brook Laddie. I brought out a couple of uh, things that I had. Yeah, uh, thank you, thank you very much. I uh, I just taste them, nose them, and taste them, and call them as I see them. Um, I don't like to call them re reviews; they're more like uh, tastings or 
or um, just whiskey videos rather than reviews. I don't really review them in that I don't uh, put any num numerical ratings on the videos. I just taste them and say if I like them or not. But if you want to call them reviews, go ahead. I prefer just talking, saying whiskey videos. Mm. Uh, okay. Found a bottle of Laddie 10 in Chilliwack last month. Oh, that's good because Laddie 10 is hard, is getting hard to find. You usually get the non H statement Laddie Classic instead, right? uh legit reviews no bs thank you very much thank you thank you tinian city uh appreciate it i try not to bullshit you know uh, i try not to talk about flavors and and scents that are not there i know there are a lot of um whiskey video people or reviewers who will embellish things by putting things that are not there into it you know, I, I, I made jokes a few times about some whiskey reviewers um, smelling and tasting things that are not there. Or, you know, it's also possible that their noses and palates are more uh, more finely tuned than mine are because I, I'm no expert. I just call them as I see them. If you feel that that's reality, that's great. You know, appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Well, you guys are, you, you're, you're very kind. You're very kind. You're very kind in your comments towards me. Thank you. There are times when my taste is off and my nose is off and I'm whiskey moments with Quig. <laughs> All right, sneers. Well, you're, you're responsible for a lot of those moments. But without your samples, I, you know, it wouldn't be quite the same. <laughs> and your comments and your input have really uh, made this channel enjoyable. Very enjoyable. Mm. What was this bottle at? 42% or is it 40? 42. I still have some of this Danfields right here. Might open that next. Oh, uh, yeah. What's everyone having, says Tinian City? Momentous moments with the Craigster. I got the very dregs of this Buffalo Trace going right here in a dirty glass. And um, I've had a few. I know I've had a couple of gin and tonics. I've had some Shelter Point. Was there another Canadian that I had? I forget. But this Buffalo Trace is going down good. Uh, let's see. Hoagie Bear says, I'd assume that as soon as doing vids to make money gets involved, reviews can head into funny directions. I'm not a fan of business YouTubing. Me either. Oh, Tinian City has a Lafroy 18. Way to go. That's a nice drown. I got some of that too. Maybe I'll pour that next. I don't know. We'll see. Lafroy 18. Way to go. What am I doing raising my glass of water? I'll raise a glass of this instead. Yeah. Let's see now. I'm having a good flight watching the quick. Thank you. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, you're welcome. I I appreciate coming on. Were you able to grab more lot 40 cast strength? Yeah, I have two bottles. I have a full one, and I have one that I just tried the other day uh, that I made a video of. Right on, good drowning. I also was able to find a 40-year-old Canadian club, which I bought couple weeks ago that's gonna go nice I, I had a sample from from Sneerson but I went and bought a whole bottle because I liked it so much lot 40 cast strength yeah I'm uh, not so common here where are you there Tinian uh, city because I it's not so common here anymore either I'm sure it's all sold out I have two bottles. Uh, okay. Ben Rago says thanks. Or Ben R. Lego. I keep I keep taking the L out of there. You live in Moose Jaw. Well that's cool. Great. I've been through there a few times. I got a friend who lives in Moose Jaw as well. And Sneerson says, good for you, Quig. I may buy another <coughs> CC40 if I can find one. Uh, two weeks ago, where the store where I got mine, there were three others. <laughs> and Diesel got a bottle of CC40 and can't get my finger to open it. It's all sold out. Uh, I think I might be able to find a couple more bottles if I really wanted to. But do I want to spend all the money? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, Don Sneerson does have a good nose for whiskey. He sure does. Well, it's good to have you join us there, Tinian City. It's a big pleasure to have another friend from Moose Jaw. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Well, we still got eight people watching. And it is 1.35 a.m. out here on the West Coast. 1.35 a.m. So in Moose Jaw, it must be a couple hours later. It must be 3.35 in the morning. Wow. That's cool. I'm getting kind of weary. I'm getting to the point where I don't know how much longer I want to last. Ah. Uh, 4.35 Eastern Standard Time. Yeah. Or is it daylight time? Got a Tomatin 12. Not sure if I'm ready to open. Uh, Tomatin 12. Tomatin 12 is, uh, I've had that. I had a whole bottle of it, and a lot of people like it. Tomatin Twelve and um, stateside, they call it uh, Dualcus. In Canada and the rest of the world, it will be called uh, Legacy. A lot of people like tomatin because of the price. It's not expensive. And I have had the tomatin 12. But there are so many better 12s than the tomatin 12. 
like for example the uh, glendronic 12. put the two side by side glendronic 12 and tomatin 12 and then tell me which one you prefer um i like tomatin for their kubakin their kubakin is really nice and the 15 if you can still find any was really good i never had a full bottle but the samples i had of tomato 15 was nice but um tomato 12 i probably would not buy it again i had it once it was okay but it wasn't great Okay. Okay, now we get back to the comments on that one. Uh, what's your guy's favorite glass? Oh, this. Uh, Glen, Glen Karen. Yeah. More great chats. Okay. Why no live with 20 and C? Ah, Richard, you know, it's funny. We've done, 20 and C and I have met, we've met together at whiskey festivals. But you got to understand that Trenny lives up in Duncan and C lives on the um, uh, Saanich Peninsula. And I live in Saanich, but um those guys get together maybe once a month and they make a bunch of videos and then uh they put them up as they go but going live with them you have to coordinate the time and my thing is i only come on late at night because i'm a night owl uh, in the daytime i'm sleeping and also during the week i'm working so I work 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., Monday to Friday. On the weekends, I'm free, but they're probably doing uh, other things. Uh, I'll get together with them at a whiskey festival, but we haven't really talked about doing the live streams together. It seems that when I'm doing a live stream, they're not available. Or when they're doing a live stream, I'm not available or I'm at work or something. And uh, even though geographically we are in the same area, we're not, um, our, our times are not compatible. And that's why we haven't really done a live together there, Richard. Um, and Tinian says, heard the 12 is weak compared to other tomatoes. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, Sneerson says, is it? Sherry and bourbon finish to Mountain 12. Yeah, it's uh, it's sherry and bourbon, whereas the 18 is also sherry and bourbon, but the 15 was completely bourbon, and I preferred the 15 over the 12 and the 18. But that's just me, you know, everyone's different, not expensive, but hard to find. Yeah. Okay. Glendronic 12? Yes, very much so. Yes, Glendronic. Everybody seems to be a Glendronic fan. And Hoagie would say the Kubakin is overrated? Well, <coughs> what happened there? Man, I made a mess. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm very sorry. I'm going to have to wipe this off.
this is one of those uh, little haz hazards that happens uh, sometimes, uh, you know. Clean my screen off. Ugh. Got Buffalo Trace all over my screen. Yuck. Might as well clean the keyboard, too. There we are, and there we are. Okay, uh, let's see now. Let me get back to where we was. Okay, we were talking about Glendronic. To Mountain 12 is the entry level. Yeah, open and enjoy. Okay. Kubakin, yeah, well, you know. Compared to 12 and 18, I prefer Kubakin, but that, that's just me, you know. Everyone's different. Uh, Tinian is asking Ben Re Ben Lego if he's had it, had it to Mountain. Okay. <clears throat> Glendronic Peters is on the list. Quick recommendation. Yes. Give it a try there, Sneerson. I might even be able to send you a sample if you like. And check out Tomato 15 review. <laughs> okay. Might make uh, whiskey notes soon. Okay. Welsh says, uh, Hoagie Bear, I agree with you about the Kubakin. It tastes too young and lacks complexity. Well, Welsh, um, I would say you got to take price into consideration too. It's not going to break the bank. It's not going to kill your budget and force you into uh, – Bankruptcy, like a lot of other whiskeys will. Never had the 15, wish I could find. Well, you know what's funny about the 15? Um, just as it was disappearing from the shelves around here, I went to a bar, and I had it at the bar, and I really enjoyed it. And then just last year, I found a three-pack of, uh, well, here, there's these guys. I found a three-pack of Tomatins um, miniatures, and there was the 12, the 18, and there was the 15. I don't have the bottle of the 15 anymore. I peeled the label off and sent it to somebody else with something else in it as a sample. And uh, it was in that three pack, and it was it was good. Like I had it at a bar, and I had it, in, but I never had a full bottle. I wish I could have a full bottle of Tomatin Fifteen. That would be amazing. Um, yeah, I wish I could find it too. May also do some live shows. <laughs> That would be great. Uh, Hoagie says, sorry, did not want to upset you with my Kubakan comment. No worries. You know, you're entitled to your, uh, you're entitled to your opinions. That's okay. Uh, I just find that Kubakan is better than 12 or 18. Just, just for me. Although it's about on par with the 15. For me. You know, every one of us is an individual and we all have our unique uh, ways of tasting and nosing and everything else. Wells Toro says, oh, yes, I did that with some Octomore 6.3 and was coughing for 30 minutes. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you, Don. Thank you. Uh, lots in Saskatoon, Tinian. The Tomatin 15 is at Sobeys. Oh, really? At Sobeys. 
I got to get myself to um, Saskatoon. <laughs> I will head over soon and check it out. Thanks at Whiskey Snearson. Way to go. There we are. Richard says Glendronic and Tomatin is like a $30 difference. Apples to oranges. That is true. That is true. But I'm just talking about this, the, 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 the experience. Um, Tomatin is cheap in the States. Yeah. Hoagie says to Welsh Toro, would rather spend just a few bucks more and get a Springer 10. A sp what? Oh, a Springbank 10. Okay. The Stonebridge location. Oh, he's talking about where you can get the uh, um, Tomatin 15 in um, Saskatoon. Snearson from Saskatchewan, Saskatoon. Okay. Tomato 15 review. Nice. And Tinian lives in Moose Jaw. Well, there you go. You know Axe Moose? What is Axe Moose? <laughs> yeah, since I moved a day for Moose Jaw. Absolutely kill Karen 12. Okay, I have <coughs> kill Karen 12 is hard to find here. I might have to go down to uh, the Strath and check it out. Let's raise the glass for Winnipeg. But my glass is empty. Oh, shit. Wait. Let me uh, pour a dram. Okay, I think it's only fair that if I'm going to pour a dram, it, it might as well be a Canadian dram, um, this one here, the uh, Lost Mountain. Might as well pour this. Since we're in the vicinity of Winnipeg and Moose Jaw and Saskatchewan and Manitoba and around there, yeah. Okay. Uh, here's to Winnipeg there, Don. Hmm. Six point three in the windpipe. Wow, sounds like near death experience. <laughs> oh, good one, Hoagie. Tinian said Axe Moose is okay. Haven't seen too much. Welsh Toro. Any recommendations for computer to stream on? Oh, good question. I don't know. I'm using an iMac from about 2014, and uh, it's got all the updates on it, and uh, everything works fine. I'm using, um, what is the browser? Google Chrome, the latest version, and it works fine. That's what I got, but you might have something else. Oh, wait a second. Uh, Glendronic is better value. You get more for your money. Yeah. Regarding Dronic and Pete, the peated port is way too expensive. Um, being NAS plus NO. A few years back, I got the Benriac 17 Solstice at 50% ABV for the same price. Ooh, that sounds good. And Rhea, 17, that sounds good. Yeah. Very special there. Exactly, Don, I concur. Tinian says, uh, last mountain, not lost mountain. 
Did I say Lost Mountain? I'm sorry. What kind of liquor taxes you guys have in Saskatchewan? Oh, shit. Glass of our kind new friend at Tinian City. Okay. Whiskey Snearson says big ones at DSO. <laughs> big taxes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> as much as BC's 15%. Thank you very much, Ben Lego. Anyone who is kind in here is a friend of mine. Okay. Very good. Well, Stora says, after trying anything and everything during the last few weeks, I think I'm more comfortable with my whiskey preferences and decisions these days. Some things I don't, don't think I'll bother with anymore. Okay. 15% on top of marked up prices. Yep. Bend over. <clears throat> Open wide. Oh, geez. I will check you out at Ben Lego since Tinian City. Sneerson is saying taxes included at the government stores. I like the transparency. Mm. Working on time for a glass of whiskey and a good cigar. Tinian's asking Don Holland, what are you drinking? Going to crack the tomato in 12. You could grow weed all day, but pay the price on whiskey. Do it at Tinian City. Welsh Toro says, The Ben Rich Septen Sidem was a good 17 year price and excellent value. Tinian City says, Ben Rich never disappointed me. Uh, was the Bernie Moss and Ben, uh, ben Riech? I think it was. It was disappointing until about, oh, it was down to there was one fifth left of the bottle, and then it was good. Kind of one dimensional, I think. The, the, uh, in the end, it didn't disappoint me, but I was a little bit wondering at first. And we're talking about the uh, <coughs> Ben Riech Bernie Moss. Mm. Last Mountain. There you go. All right, where are we in the comments? Quig is getting tired. <laughs> Hoagie Barrett, Welsh, yes, purchases have become more focused, but once in a while, I like to take a wild swing at a bottle if it's not too expensive. Yeah, me too. I'm going to put some other glasses on so I can read this. Much safety is boring sometimes, and you need party bottles. <coughs> I'm tired, yeah. Stranahan's Diamond Peak Lafroy Heel in a Glass. Okay, that's one I've never heard of. <coughs> Somebody is always happy with the bottle. You despise yourself, I found out. Great choice at Don Holland. Diamond Peak, okay. Los Toro at Hoagie Bear, totally agree. I find I buy many more independent bottlings these days, and they are a shot in the dark. I enjoy that. And then when you find a gem, you are laughing. <clears throat> I'm 
Tinian City says that hoagie bear exactly. You need to try more. Sometimes lands you some good stuff. And Ben's getting tired too. Okay. <coughs> D so says if you guys are interested, I got Instagram of my whiskey collection at Angel Share Whiskey. Government store sounds so communist. <laughs> You know, I was just having a discussion with a friend of mine today about uh, communism. And we were talking about news, the news, and how it is slanted in such a way that the people of, with the money pay for the news and they pay to make the news say what it's going to say and they're paying for the news to tell us what to think whereas if you go to somewhere like russia today things are less slanted and how the news used to be less slanted here in the western world and that's all I'm going to say because I ignore the news. I do not watch TV. I do not listen to the radio. I do not read a newspaper. I get enough from my customers while I'm driving taxi. <coughs> so the news, if you listen to the news, you're just being brainwashed anyway. Okay. Socialist Whiskey. Quig, I have kept my receipts for the last binge. Boy, is it buyer's remorse. I have six months. <coughs> six months of receipts. Right here. I don't have buyer's remorse. I don't fucking care. And that's just the ones I haven't opened yet. Never could believe it in Canada. <coughs> Canada is... Yeah, but every province is different too, right? News is BS. Exactly. Exactly. Don't watch <laughs> fake news. Yes. News is just like Entertainment Weekly. Okay. Uh, can of worms. <laughs> you will be okay, Don. Sleep on it. Okay. Lush Taurus says, holy shit, I shred my receipts before the wife finds them. <laughs> no wife, no strife. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> TKS MS. <coughs> hmm. Tinian City says, I will buy an iMac. Thank you. I, food Quig. I have a 2010 MacBook. Okay, well, my, my last time I had a MacBook it was a 20, 2008. My last iMac was a 2011, and it died from a short circuit. Um, killed the motherboard. So I had to buy this uh, 2014 MacBook, uh, uh, iMac. And Diesel says, ha, ha, Quig, love you. Okay, do it at Tinian City. Good one at Welsh Toro. I don't even know what Welsh Toro did. I shred my receipts. <coughs> okay. Sleep, a cure for insomnia. Oh, amen. Amen on that one. What am I nosing now? What did I pour? Do you remember what I poured? Mm. It's good. I forget what I poured. I hate this. Okay. 
It's not the Buffalo Trace. That was the one before this one. Judas Priest Long Streams. Almost four hours. And what's good for sleep? Huh. What did I pour? Shit, I hate this. Somebody tell me what I poured. Oh, yes. Yes. Lost Mountain. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> this is good. I should have known wheat. I need water. I'm going to get uh, dehydrated if I don't get some more water. Dehydrated is not good. It's cramps and pain. Okay, got some water. That was last mountain. What's really funny is it says Last Mountain, but there are not many mountains in Saskatchewan, are there? <laughs> <coughs> Toro says, I've got a dram of the excellent Knob Creek Single Barrel Reserve 120 Proof in my glass. Oh, I had some of that about three years ago. Was it two years ago? It was some years ago. It was nice. It is good stuff. Yes, I, I agree, Tenyon City. Should get some here soon. Early stages of, oh, no, not Andy. You have millions of brain cells to spare. I freaking hope so. Craig, Saskatchewan, Craig, Saskatchewan. Uh, what's happening, Ben? Still had the city name copied. Okay. Toro says to Tinian City, I think it's a thing of the past here in the UK. Okay. Shame, it is good stuff. <coughs> Why is that a shame? Hmm. Last Mountain 100% Wheat Whiskey is my favorite. The 2014 bottles is available now. Oh, it's, it's good. I'm not complaining. Thank you for the bottle. Mm. Diso says, I love asking newbie friends on their favorite whiskey, and it's almost always Johnny Walker Blue Label. Oy vey. I've never tried Johnny Walker Blue Label. The price has always put me off. And Tinian has been to Craig near Saskatoon. Okay, now I know that Craig is near Saskatoon. I'm sure now I know. Maybe someday in my travels I'll get there. 
And Richard is going to reach for Glendronic 12 right about now. Oh, my. And Don Holland says, MS Wheat, an earworm that has to be addressed. Sounds like you keep in bad company. <laughs> Lego says, I have to go live on fuck you pad system. What? Diesel says, no, nah, I just correct them well. But whenever the conversation of whiskey starts, they open a can of worms. Uh, we're talking about the kids who are talking about um, Johnny Walker Blue Label. <clears throat> I think you should point them to Johnny Walker Green Label. Just my opinion. Need to open a bottle of Glendronic 16 Platinum someday. Well, I need to open a bottle of Glendronic 18 Allardyce someday. It's going to happen, but not today. <laughs> Do it at Hoagie Bear, says Tinian. Fod New Val. Well, what, what are you talking about there, Ben? Welsh Toro says, I managed to get some weeded recently, but some miracle got two bottles of Walker, a uh, Weller 12, in delicatessen for normal prices of 38 pounds a bottle. Cool. Fucked up system as in the 26, 2006 computer. <laughs> Took your pills. Well, you got to get up to speed there, Ben. Whew. If you're going to go on the information superhighway, don't be driving a Model T. That's all I can say. The Model T will not keep up with traffic. <laughs> Don Holland is asking Ben, do you make house calls at Can Apple Pro? <clears throat> Oh, this might be interesting. <coughs> Shit. What's gone down my throat? Must be some of this last mountain. Hoagie says to do so that I assume those folk think they say something whiskey smart when addressing the prestigious blue label, but it's noble of you to take up the burden of educating them. <laughs> MacBook Pro for amateurs. Okay. Weller 12 is a lovely whiskey, but it's not worth more <coughs> than that, and it shows how screwed up the secondary market is. Ben doesn't have a MacBook Pro. Uh, Blue Label is not nearly as good as half the stuff out there. Oh, wait. If you guys <coughs> can hold on a minute. My phone has made a noise. I bet I know who it is. <coughs>
Okay. It was only my phone in the kitchen, which was making a noise. Uh, let's see, where are we at? Uh, okay. At Tinian City, I will just not know. Whoa, what's going on here? Boogie Bear says something about Tinian City. <coughs> Giso says to Hoagie Bear, yeah, I just tell them the basic checklists all the time. Filtration, color, ABV. Good flight. I'd say it's a good flight, yeah. I hear you poor man's whiskey has gone crazy. Mm. And don't get me started with the McAllen fans, too. Oh, shit. <coughs> McAllen fan boys. We're talking whiskey in the six. So although blue label cast strength is not too bad, just too expensive. I'll just say too expensive. It's been so expensive that I've never gone for it. No, I bought an expensive one lately. Yes, I have. I forget which one it was, but I'll get to it eventually. Uh, ben is starting to drift off. Get some rest, says Tinian. You know, I'm kind of getting weary too. McCallum is fool's gold <laughs> in a bottle, yeah. The 1824 series, oh, yuck. <clears throat> I bought the gold and regretted it ever since. Hoagie says uh, to Diso, when I <coughs> deal with my North American whiskey mates, I have to be patient with McAllen. <coughs> I found out. <coughs> Very heavy brand influence over there. Time for some movement, then I am crashed. Yeah, later, Ben Lego. Have a good night. Slanchava, and so on. Mm. Oh, that was the last mountain. Yeah. McKellen is great with the marketing. Yeah. Three hundred pounds for the eighteen? That's like six hundred dollars. That's fucking stupid. I was able to get the classic cut. And the um, edition three and another McAllen or two, <clears throat> way less than 300 pounds. What was the other McAllen or two? I'm trying to remember which ones I bought. At this point in time, I'm a little bit too inebriated to make much. Uh, if I make any sense at all, that'll be a surprise. Yeah. Three hundred pounds. Fuck. Welsh Toro, but it certainly must then be twice as good as the Glendronic Twenty One Parliament. <laughs> good one, Hoagie. Good one. Good one. I actually was thinking about the classic cut. Yeah, I got a bottle of that. I will get there eventually. It's in it's it's in the archives somewhere. <laughs> Tinian City just subbed. Ah, thank you, Tinian. Uh, I appreciate that. 
<clears throat> I appreciate that. Don Holland says, I have many years and much respect for you, Welsh. My first Mac 18 was $79 Canadian. <clears throat> wow. Seventy nine Canadian. That's that, that's the ways back. <laughs> oh, McCowan, McCowan. Okay, Los Toro says, "Oh yes, it's the best. Three times better than Glen Going Twenty One." Whiskey Snearson says, "Yep, Welsh Toro, West Toro." I can't pronounce this properly. Welsh Toro is the man. I will concur. This is the wrong glass to be raising. This is just pure water. Okay, it tastes a little bit like Ben Riech because it was in a Ben Riech bottle, but I got to pour me another gram. Oh! <clears throat> Let me find something good. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, I got a mean one here. We got <coughs> Aaron the Bothy. This one is uh, fifty-five point two percent alcohol by volume, and it tasted really great when I tried it. This may be my last dram of the night. Ah. Quarter cask, bottled at cask strength. Fifty five point two per cent. Mm, ah, <clears throat> light and free. Mm. Now, oh, let's see now. Blue label. There is only men and respectful trolls in the chat room. Aye, aye, Don. Tinian City says, Don Holland, you ever going to make vids? <laughs> I lost, you know. Uh, never going to make vids. Okay, Don Hoagie Bear says, Richard Blank as well. At least high proof, 55.8. Calls Blue Label the casks edition and usually comes in a one liter bottle. Pretty good, but expensive too. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Most Toro says, uh, cheers, fellas. I actually have a Mac 18 stashed away. I bought it for normal money a while back. It's lovely stuff, but it's not worth more than 99 uh, pounds. <clears throat> Lots of great chat. Thanks to everyone in here for a great show. Yeah, sure, Ben. My pleasure and everyone else's, I'm sure. Ogie Bear says, now I'll get my first whiskey of the day. Caden had Ben Nevis 16 at 66% AABV. <clears throat> you're starting at 66%? Oh, you're the man. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Tinian hasn't had Caden Head in a while. I've never had Caden Head myself. And Hoagie Bear, the West Toro says, that sounds like a good one. Only seen Green Label at 43%. <clears throat> yeah, I've had that a number of times myself. You must be talking at our fantastic host. Oh. Somebody's talking to me somewhere, but I don't get it. <laughs> uh, Whiskey Sneerson likes Hoagie Bear's style. Okay, 
You should try and find some Caden head would make a good review at Food Crate. Well, I have never seen any, but I got some of this Bothy from Aaron. Um, if the video hasn't come up yet, it will soon. I think it has actually. Mm. <coughs> Problem is here on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, we don't have all that much in the way of independent bot wings. I mean, you'll get a few from Gordon and McPhail. And I might on occasion find something from uh, Black Adder. And maybe a little bit of a little something, something from uh, Douglas Lang. Independent butlings are hard to find here. Okay, we'll get some compass box and stuff like that. But, you know. <clears throat> Caden head would be good. I like. I I would love to find some if I could. Diesel asked, "Where do you get those wheat cakes, Quig?" Oh, you mean the old cakes, the Orkney Island old ca cakes? Walmart, believe it or not, Walmart in the British food section, and that's just like a couple blocks from my door. I can go to Walmart and get uh, get those anytime. Not a problem. Almost four hours. Yes, Ben Lego, we are going strong. And I'm itchy. Can you tell? Um, <clears throat> Toro has an unopened exclusive malts. Ben Nevis twenty single barrel refill sherry hogshead at fifty one point nine percent. Looking forward to that one. I have never seen a Ben Nevis around here. Can't find it. I've never seen it. Don Holland says, Ben Nevis, I sure wish I could get me some. Yes, I echo that one, uh, and I concur. Jason Whiskey Wise. Good morning, Jason. <laughs> nice to have you with us. <coughs> It's, it's great to have you with us, actually. Uh, good morning. Well, uh, yeah, it's 2.26 in the morning here. And Tinian City says, I would be too. Uh, something about Ben Nevis. Okay. Hoagie says, Gordon and McPhail, Kalila, is, Kalila are great. Mostly between seven, 7 and 10 years old. Aged and good quality cast. I wish I could find some hoagie. That would be fantastic. Tinian City says, welcome, uh, Jason. Jason, yes, Jason, good to have you with us. <clears throat> John Holland says, 12 guests and counting. Well, 11, it says now, but okay. Uh, Toro says, Jason, whiskey wise. Hi, Jason, have you gone to bed yet? <laughs> good to see you. Welcome, Mr. Wise, says Don Holland, and Lego says BFD drives should be here. Battlefield Doctor? Oh my goodness, that would be interesting. That would be great. I don't know if I don't know if Battlefield Doctor drinks whiskey. I know he's into French cars and things like that, but uh, Hoagie says uh, Welsh Toro. Sounds good to me if you can pick up the newly released Nevis 12 from Hidden Spirit. Do so. Heavily peated dark sherry cask. Yum, yum. I've never had a Ben Nevis. I, I'm kind of anxious to try it someday. Jason Whiskey White says at Welsh Toro, yeah, I want to, went to bed, but Going to head out now as yesterday's whiskey lounge was interesting. 
Van Lego says seven likes, dis no dislikes. How about nine? Try nine. We got nine likes and no dislikes. Welsh Taurus says to Hoagie Bear, those GM Kalilas are fantastic. GM is good. Kalila is good. Yeah, I can't fault that. <clears throat> Jason Whiskey Wise says to Food Quig, that's me. I've got to head to the whiskey shop, but I'll speak to you later, buddy. Get some re good rest. That is a plan, Jason. It's been wonderful to have you with us for a short time. And I'm, I'm getting to that point where I'm just about to, like, uh, go to that bed and crash. <laughs> I know exactly what it's all about. Uh, see you, Jason. Yeah, bye, Jason. Have a good one. See you later. Uh, ben Lego says, 10 likes. Yes, you're right, Ben. 10 likes. We are kicking ass. Maybe I'll get a few more subscribers out of this. Get me closer to that thousand. <laughs> Not that I really give a shit anyway, but, you know, it's sort of a prestige thing. <laughs> it's been a good show. It's It's been all right. Yeah. Gentlemen, I got pissed. Hmm. What did I miss? And Snearson concurs. Oh, this it's been a good show, yeah. Uh Stranahan's this is uh, exactly okay. Hoagie says, if food quick, yes, you should probably take a good nap soon. I'll be off for today. Have a great one, and thanks for the stream. Everyone, thank you. It's been a blast. Yes, Hoagie, it's been good. Bye, Hoagie. And uh, Snearson says, uh, is that Colorado whiskey? Yes, we do, Don. Have not tried yet. Okay. <clears throat> Have a great day, mate, says uh, Don Holland. See you, Hoagie. Goodbye, Bear. Bitter, tired man here. <laughs> Don't try too hard there, Ben. Uh, Tinian says, rest. You need it, lad. Don Holland says, MS, it is good juice to car carry the flavors. 
what MS is that? Uh, what is it? 47 percent, 94. 47 percent. What is this one? This is 55.2 percent. Ah, now we're talking. That <coughs> does it for me, says Snearson. Mm. This is wonderful stuff. I did a I did a video on this um, recently, and it really works. Even without water, even without water, water on the side naturally. This stuff is tasty. It says here, I know I did the video not too long ago. The arid single malt selected for the Bothy was initially matured in first filled ex bourbon barrels before being transferred for secondary maturation into a smaller American oak casks for a minimum of 18 months. This process creates greater contact between the whiskey and oak and a much more intense maturation. Product of Scotland. <clears throat> yeah. So basically, they pulled the same move as um, as uh, Lafroig with the quarter cask thing, but there's no peat in this at all. It's, it's, there's no peat. It's, it's, it's really good. Uh, the ABV, yeah. Deso says, all right, everyone, I'm on my last drop of the dram. Great chat. Slancha. Slancha. Ah. My first time boy does it get my approval. Oh, yeah. Look at what. <laughs> Deso. Okay, now I'm losing what's happening with the uh, with the comments here. Um, I'm losing the stream. I don't know what's going on. We got twelve people uh, thumbing this up, and we got zero pointing it down, and that's really good. We got ten people watching now. Ah. Uh, Van Lego says, time for bed, I think. Laughing out loud. You know, you might be right. You might be right. I might uh, benefit from a nap or two. <clears throat> and uh, that, that wouldn't do me too bad because, you know, I need my beauty rest and so on. And Tinian City thinks so as well. So, gentlemen, uh, it's been a pleasure to have you all with me um, in this little live tasting which lasted about three and a half hours and so on so i'm going to say um and uh stop broadcast